Good afternoon and welcome to another in my series of the Almost Old Age, old age Pensioner's Guide to the Flipper Zero. Um, before I go any further, can I just say thank you, genuinely, thank you to the people who've subscribed to my poxy little YouTube channel of late. It's genuinely, it's genuinely nice to know that Nearly, not quite, but nearly 900 people out there find some use in the crap I post. And I don't do any other social media. I don't do Twitter, Instagram or anything like that. I certainly don't do Facebook. Um, it's just, thank you. Thank you, genuinely. Right. Not so much looking at the Flipper Zero in this video as some of the hardware mods that are available for it and i'm just going to be sort of showing you the ones i've got the ones i'm building the ones i've built and in another video we're going to start testing them but this is my um this is my adult's toy box this uh this is all my flipper stuff and the flipper just lives in there um so <clears throat> this is a node mcu i think this is the esp32 i can never remember bear with me it's either the esp32 or the s266666 thing it's the yep it's the 8266 so you can use that for a variety of things and i i basically rigged it up to work as a a deauthor to test my and i'm still doing so test my home network and my security cameras it is pretty much identical i think this is the yep yeah, that's the esp32 that's the wi-fi deauthor i think i use that there's, there's another mod built into the flipper that uses that and i just connected it with some oops sorry some of these i bought myself some of these jumper pins which are male on one end and female at the other so I can plug them straight into the flipper and straight onto boards like that but yeah that's a Node MCU uh, it's a nice easy board the only thing I don't like about it is there's no external con uh, antenna connection but there are boards available that do it but yeah Node, EC, uh, Node MCU this is the official Wi-Fi um board from team flipper and it's the same thing to be honest there's there's, there's no difference in it this is just the esp 622 esp 32 yeah the esp 32 w rover no idea um but that's all that is and i just printed a little 3d case for it this is one I've been building today. This will be the ultrasonic distance sensor. Now I sort of built a very crude, <laughs> sort of very crude prototype board. Um, and I've decided that the, how I'm gonna have this now is like, that's the short ones, yeah. So it'll, it's not wired up yet, but it'll go into the flipper like that so as you can see all i've done i've just soldered in some straight pins if you do that obviously just if you've got the silicon case on you'll just need to remove the plastic bits off the or just cut them to the right size whatever and then i've just through soldered those like that so i've just got to now basically just wire four of these wires vcc or voltage power ground and the trigger and the echo i think it is uh, wires to certain pins it is a shame that this requires five volts because had it worked on three then i'd made a board that it sort of just all just in one socket like that and I tried it with the 3.3 volts. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. It needs five. Hence my redesign. Uh, these, incidentally, these boards, I got these off Amazon. 
They are great. They are through hole plated. Um, they come in variable sizes. And there are some there are some couple of a uh, couple of really sort of large ones. They weren't horrifically expensive. I bought some headers. Some are sort of straight through as it were. Like that. And I bought some right angled ones. Now with the flipper's silicon case it can make these a little bit tricky to use, so do be aware. What I'm thinking of doing is, and I'm trying to avoid it, but is to remove this little sort of inch of orange plastic here with a scalpel, just cut straight across, and then it means an, a, you know a board will fit in properly. And at the moment with these development boards, if you... And it may be different for other boards... But if you connect one up, it won't fit into the socket because you've still got sort of this extra bit of circuit board here, this sort of blank bit here, which it just makes it so that the, the pins won't reach into the flipper zero with the silicon cover on. Then this is why I've been using the sort of straight pins and and then you know, so it's not an ideal solution. But I'd, I'd rather I'd rather protect the flipper. You know, th this problem of the boards is a much easier sort of work around than than losing the protection. So just be aware of that. And I say I bought some. Uh, I bought some little cables. Uh, that there is that's another ESP266, and I think I tried that for the Wi-Fi sniffer. It's actually got a little OLED screen on it, but I, I simply used it. I programmed it up and and used it as a device. I'm fairly sure that's the Wi-Fi sniffer, yeah, because they're the power wires, and I think it's serial TX and RX. So another nice little hardware mod. I've got all the um, temperature sensors here and the um, humidity sensors, etc., that I've seen listed as another project. So I'll be trying those. Um, here are some. Well, at first I thought they were EM4305s, they're not. They're actually T5577 programmable tags, so I can do some RFID stuff. So yeah, that is my little um, my little flipper zero toy box that just keeps everything sort of pretty much nice and together. Haven't found. I'm going to have to. It is double sided, so these large boards I can very probably, without too much fuss, you know just make a make something bigger in there um great boxes these i am going to put some foam rubber as well but there we go um that's today's little video and as i said the first thing we'll test is the ultrasonic distance module it i don't think it's massively accurate i don't know yet um i haven't really had chance to test it properly but even if it's you know, within an inch or two. That's that's fine for me. But yeah, we'll build that up later on. So oops, sorry. So you can see. So sort of what I've done here is I've just soldered the pins, the short pins, through to the board, and then I've just soldered pins onto that. I tried angling them over at first, and, and now. So I decided that this really was the best way of doing it. And I've just got some, I've ordered some Kynar so I can simply attach the uh, necessary wires to the necessary pins. So there we go. As I say, it's a very simple little design, but it should be relatively neat. And then as usual, I'll epoxy it in place and make it, uh, make it good.
because I'm always my it's one of my things using epoxy to protect this is the light sensor it isn't finished um, but that's a it's an epoxy resin and it, it ma makes them waterproof essentially bomb proof and there's the sensor right in the middle and trust me when I say there is no glue on that sensor I was very <laughs> I was very careful to make sure of that sorry about the reflection but that's the light sensor and we'll look at that one as well at some point so there you go there's my little toy box so as I said thanks for watching and again a, a big thank you genuinely um, from the bottom of my cold dead heart uh, to all the people who have subscribed it, it's really nice to know thanks very much